What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable Windows Defender, why you should disable it, and what are the advantages of disabling Windows Defender for in-game performance, and what are the disadvantages of disabling Windows Defender for security. So without further ado, let's get right into basically why you should disable Windows Defender, and I'm going to be showing you how much memory it just uses in the background without anything open, just stock Windows, Windows Defender running in the background. So when I open up Task Manager, I'm going to find anti-malware server executable as you can see it's taking about 200 megabytes of ram this might not seem like a lot but this adds up over time and again this is not just using 200 megabytes of ram while you're using the computer it's scanning files in the background and it's wasting system resources on security for gaming pcs this isn't much of a concern unless you're downloading very very dangerous files and you know they're dangerous keep this enabled but if you're just gaming on the pc downloading simple programs like spotify discord browsers you're pretty much much going to be chilling disabling this it's not going to cause any harm but if you're running random exe files or you're not using ad block on the internet or you're not doing any of the security features that you should be doing not downloading sketchy things off the internet then probably want to leave this enabled but for a lot of you if you play just esport titles if you just play games that you need every single last frame in we don't want this running in the background it's just useless so windows defender in fact isn't as great of an antivirus as it can be but it's better than nothing so if you need an antivirus i guess leave it enabled but this is a video on how to disable it it's not a video on how to keep it enabled so basically all we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to update and security we're going to go to windows security click virus and threat protection we're going to click manage settings we're going to turn off real-time protection press yes and then everything else in here we're going to turn off especially tamper protection make sure this is off and then we're going to close out of all this go to the link in the description it's going to take you to a website where we're going to use this program to disable windows defender and then in the future we can use the same program to enable it if we need to so once you're on the website from the link in the description make sure you're using adblock i recommend using ublock origin i'll leave a link to that adblock in the description as well because if you don't there's going to be a lot of ads on this website and you might be clicking on one of them and you might just download some blow so make sure you use adblock while you're on this website we're going to scroll down we're going to find the gray download button over here and as you can see they explain to you why the file is encrypted and why it may cause false alerts and virus total so this file is encrypted because when defender control software may cause false alerts and virus total the password is sortum so we're going to click download and just wait for it to download it's basically going to download it and as you can see it's going to be some weird name just right click on it click 7-zip extract files if you have winrar just use winrar and click extract files i'm going to go back and here it's going to say enter password as you saw earlier the password is sortum type that in press ok as you can see it's going to make this folder go in there go in there go to decon Control, double click on this press yes and it's going to say real-time protection is off disable windows defender enable windows defender obviously we're going to just click disable it's going to let it do its thing and the x means windows defender is disabled completely next time we restart the anti-malware service in the background will be gone and all the settings in windows defender are going to be either grayed out or disabled so in the future if you want to enable this you would just do the same thing you would just double click on this press yes and then you would click enable windows defender right here and then once you click enable it'll say windows defender is running but i want it disabled and once you click enable it's going to scan the program itself and actually delete it just because windows defender detects this as false virus just because it disables it makes sense right the program that disables windows defender is marked as a virus so that's just a safety feature of defender not really anything crazy but yeah that's going to be pretty much how to disable windows defender and if you load up in game after you restart your pc you're going to notice your mouse feels a lot stronger snappier you're getting less fps drops and your fps just is overall better so now you might be asking what can i use in the meantime while windows defender is disabled so the first thing again is get you block origin go to the link in the description and grab this really important it's supported on all browsers so make sure you install this you block origin so all the ads on the internet are blocked out and you don't accidentally click on one of them and get a virus or get bloatware or any of that bad stuff so once you've gotten that then you can basically basically pick a choice between your favorite antiviruses for me personally i would just recommend using malware bytes on a monthly basis and there's really honestly no need to do this unless you're like very paranoid of something being downloaded on your computer or somebody else using your computer and then downloading something and running it that could be a virus so malware bytes is completely free hey i do have a free trial so i'm going to be showing you how to set up malware bytes without it running in the background constantly and then you can just open it once a month run it do a 
scan and then you can pretty much delete all the stuff that it finds or just whatever it finds you can mark it as not a virus or a virus so i'm gonna go through the setup real quickly i'll leave the link to this website in the description as well if you want to try out malware bytes for yourself so in the installer you would pick personal next and then you would click skip this for now because we don't want that stuff we just want to use malware bytes to scan our computer every once a month every two weeks or whatever time frame you're thinking of in your head currently so once this thing's done you just click open malware bytes and it will open and it's gonna just say look at my malware bytes i'm gonna click get started i'm gonna click maybe later and i'm just gonna click get started again now just so this doesn't run in the background every time you start up your computer or every time you turn on your computer just so it doesn't run in the background and you don't know it you could be getting less fps just because of this running in the background constantly scanning stuff or constantly looking for viruses all we're going to do is go to click the gear icon on the top right we're going to go to security we're going to scroll down and turn off windows startup just so this doesn't open up every time you start up your pc and you can just open it later on every two weeks every month every three months whatever time frame you're thinking of in your head you can basically just run a scan as you can see right here just scan it and it will do a scan for you and check if there's any bloatware viruses or any weird files on your computer so just scan this right now if you have never run a malware by scan it might be finding some bloatware currently installed on your pc that defender didn't catch so go ahead scan that if it finds anything delete it but if it finds the defender control program you can just basically skip that program because i don't think malware bytes will flag it but it might so if it does flag it just cross it out and you could pretty much just ignore defender control because that program's safe we use it just to disable windows defender and re-enable it in the future if we need to but now as you can see malware bytes is open to completely close it you just right click on the bottom right quit malware bytes and it would say do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device press yes and as you can see it's going to close and if you click the arrow on the bottom right it won't be running in the background as you see here so it's going to be pretty much it for disabling windows defender and using an alternative if need be make sure to restart your computer after doing all this just so defender doesn't run in the background and all the settings are applied and if you want a full pc optimization service where you get lower input lag way more fps and smoother gameplay in all of your games go to the link in the description i work with people like booga and if you want a pc completely custom built for you optimized for you and stress tested for you before you even did it go to the second link in the description and purchase one today but anyways guys it's going to be pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out